What's happening, party people? Here's a question. Uh, do I write out my speech? Do I use note cards for my presentation? Do I work on committing it to memory? So a couple of things. Some people have a facility for memorizing. Like it, it comes rather easily to them. So they may actually initially write it out but it's not long before they have memorized it. Now, the, the challenge with memorizing is that you get it in your head that it has to be exactly what you have written down word for word. And so you focus more on a perfect recitation of what you've written down versus an authentic communication with what you want to say. So be, be careful with that. But I think it's a good idea if you're not fully comfortable with going without something in front of you. It's okay in, in the beginnings of your speaking and presenting to write it all out. Because what will happen over time, when you do it enough times, you get a lot of reps and a lot of sets in of doing speaking engagements and presentations, whatever the setting may be, that you will begin to develop a facility where you won't need the entire thing written out. You can actually just have, we call them cue cards, where there are certain phrases and words that will jog your memory in terms of where you want to be and throughout the course of your presentation. And for those of you that aspire to be able to speak without any prompting, then that's, that again goes back to your reps and your sets. Now, some of the clients that I coach, they will start out writing out their entire presentation and we will literally go through it line by line. The same way that politicians will have speech writers. And they'll go through it, they'll take this line out, they'll add that line in, and then they'll practice and they'll rehearse. Now, another aspect of this is the amount of time that you have. Usually when you're having to do some form of a presentation or speech, there is a time limitation from your moment of knowing that you have to do it and then the actual execution of it. So, so typically, you're just working to, to rehearse it over and over and over again. So this really is going to be contingent upon how much time that you have. For those of you that are just starting out and you just want to get better, you can practice as many times as you want. You can literally just write something out and work on it and you can deliver it to your next door neighbors, your, your, your kids, <laughs> your dog, your plants. I've done all the above, minus the dog. So you can just practice, right? And get those sets and those reps in. But initially... It's fine if you need to write it all out. It's okay if you have cue cards. So maybe you have anywhere from five to 10 note cards with, with key phrases and words to help you go through the presentation that you're giving or speech. And then for some of you, you really wanna to get to that point where you just, you don't need anything. And that, that happens over time if that's something that's important to you. It's not a necessity. Plenty of people continuously give speeches and presentations, whether if it's in a business setting or a, a uh, conference or what have you, and they just always use prompts and no one's going to be mad at you for that. You'll see it all the time. I see it all the time. So there's not, that's not a right or wrong thing. It's really a personal preference and you have to know yourself well enough to know what your strengths are and what may require a lot more time and preparation that you may or may not have, depending upon the circumstance. So that's my quick input on that. We go a little bit deeper into it when, we get, when we're getting into the actual training and, and the coaching aspect of it, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of insight in terms of do I write the entire thing out? Do I utilize cue cards? Do I really just focus on being without any prompts and just go for it. But be aware of those pitfalls and be aware of the importance of repetition. Have an awesome day. Deuces.